What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here, and t t today we're going to go ahead and focus on a specific common internet base you'll see all the time. This particular clan was uh, gracious enough to uh, go ahead and give us this particular base four times, or they used it four different times in four of their different uh, clan members. So let's go ahead and take a look. You're probably familiar with it. If you're not, that's okay. What is this? So that's what we're going to deal with. We're dealing with how to crush the Tootsie Roll base. And we're going to show you hogs. We're going to show you uh, Valkyries, Golems. Uh, we're going to show you dragons. We're going to show you a whole bunch of different ways to go ahead and attack it. And then you're going to just basically pick and choose what you want to do and how you want to destroy it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So this base commonly referred to as the Tootsie Roll, um, it's, it, you see it all over the place. I'm going to bust out the pen here and let's go ahead and make some drawings. Uh, a lot of times they'll switch, as you'll see, these. It's, it, they can switch a lot of the, the trash buildings and some certain buildings um, around. Move the king, take, take this right here and move it over to here, move it down this area, down in this area pretty much wherever they want to do that. Um, also, they're going to go ahead and, uh, and take the sweeper right here and move it to any of these three corners, uh, depending on how they want to do it or what, what they want to do. But what almost always stays the same is these particular empty corners right here, right here, and right here. If a sweeper is not in them, 99.9 uh, .9 repeating billions of times is going to be a Tesla. So you got your three Teslas right here, and uh, yeah, pr pretty much that's it. Uh, giant bombs are going to be sporadically placed wherever giant bombs can go. Uh, there is no really good place to put them in the base. That, that makes a lot of sense um, because they can all be tripped very easily. Uh, there's no space in any of the moat here for any giant bombs, and there is no space here in the core for any giant bombs. So there's just not enough. So it, it can be dealt with in a whole bunch of different ways. So why don't we go ahead and jump into the first one. All right, so the first one we're going to look at, uh, I actually three-starred this base, which I'll show in, in the next video. But um, uh, Dank replaced my attack with his, and uh, he's going to bring a holo in here. So he's going to use hogs and loons. So that's the first way we're going to look at it with hogs and loons. So he'll go ahead and send uh, this uh, loon in here, or a couple loons and a hog to grab both grab the lure and to really take care of that uh, um, mortar almost untouched. You see the Tesla will pop there. So uh, there's really no reason to uh, uh, you know, worry about that too much. But um, he'll go ahead and grab the lure. And he sent the other hog in a little too early for that. He used poison. Um, minion was really just uh, anchor down there, but uh, could use an, uh, anything else like a barbarian or a, an archer there. But just in case they didn't get that uh, mortar, that, that minion wouldn't have been touched. So that was pretty good thinking. So anyway, clan castle is a little sloppy. Um, you know, he's, he, th he thought the poison was going to take care of it, but it obviously did not. Loses uh, his wizards there. But uh, now it's time to really start the raid. He'll go ahead and kind of not quite two finger drop, but uh, he'll check and see if there was a uh, giant bomb there. There was not, so he can send the rest of his hogs. And what he really wants to do is make his way into that core, as we see. So he'll rage it up, get those hogs to go super fast through that core. He still has two more heals left. And uh, they just take out those archer, uh, the, the air defenses. So as, as soon as the air defenses go down, it's time to send those loons in. Loons were a little bit, a sl little bit slow, but uh, the hogs are tanking for them. So they'll pretty much go untouched except for that last Tesla on the bottom. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot of hogs running around. They do have some skelly traps on them, but that's uh, not going to be a problem because they're going to go ahead and turn around and kill that. And then they're going to go ahead and take care of the king. And where do we put that? Where did he put that enemy king? Uh, I guess it was taken out by the, uh, the he took out, he did a king swap. I missed that. 
but that's fine. Um, so wizards are going, making their rounds, cleaning up the top. The loons are going around. The hogs are going uh, to the core to take care of that town hall. And uh, yeah, he pretty much crushed this base with a holo. So again, the whole point of that is get your hogs in there, take out those uh, air defenses in the core. And then once that core is down, right, right when the air defenses are going down, you can start sending your loons all in the different corners and uh, have the uh, hogs meet up with them. So good attack. Let's go ahead and look at another one. All right, so now we're going to look at the original hit on this base, which was mine, uh, which was a three-star attack. And I'm going to bring a Dragloon with um, some minions on the back, kind of not the back end, actually on the front end. And uh, I'm going to use uh, Zap Quake. So take out that uh, far uh, AD, which is a max AD. Actually, this is a completely max Town Hall 8 base, except for I think maybe a Mortar, but I, I, maybe not. I, I think it's a max. So I'll send the minions in to the top and to take out those builder huts just for time purposes. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and start that funneling so the dragons, we want to make them work their way into the core along with those loons. So the only thing that I bring here is two goblins. Unfortunately, I wanted to bring two wall breakers and I send the goblins down here. They were supposed to make it all the way to trigger that uh, um, clan castle. And that was the only mistake that I made here is I wanted the dragon and the loon to come out uh, ASAP so that uh, when, they, when I put them in rage, they would already go ahead and take care of them real quick. So I'll rage those loons up. They'll go ahead and make their way into the core. They'll start taking out that the air defense. And now there's only one more air defense. That one's taken care of. So really right now, it's just time to uh, battle it out. And you see that how that dragon is uh, battling the other dragon. It would have they, they would have gone against a lot more if I would have uh, triggered that clan castle earlier. So that was the only big mistake that I made. But at this point, minions, dragons, everybody's going around. Send the king from the bottom, trips that giant bomb. He's got some help with the minion on the south as well. And uh, there's just uh, one more archer tower and one more Tesla to deal with. And uh, the balloon is going to be inconsequential, really. It's going to take out the king and the barbarians, but uh, that's fine. It's, not, it's no big deal. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this as the dragons make their way around. That uh, wizard tower is tickling him. And he'll start making his way towards the cannon and then ultimately towards that Tesla. Or just go ahead and uh, duck, dip, and dive and dodge that one. Take care of that army camp and then wake his way back to Tesla. And now it's just a couple more buildings left. The army camp, the barracks and it's time is over okay so uh yeah that's that's how you can go ahead and wreck that base with uh, a, a drag loon you it depends what side you're going to come in from wherever the sweeper is pointed against uh you don't want to go against that sweeper so uh go ahead and figure what what corner it's from and attack it from that same corner where it is so yep let's go ahead and take a look at another way All right, I wanted to show uh, Go Valo on this one, and unfortunately, he gets the spoil alert 99%. So I'm still going to show it because obviously we can tweak it a little bit to uh, to where you can use Go Valo and, and crush this base. Um, he does use a quake and brings a heal uh, along with it. So he'll go ahead and start pounding that uh, mortar, and you notice the Wiz Tower is kind of hitting it, but not for very much. So um, he'll get the one for one trade there and then do the same up here. He triggers the giant bomb, gets the lure up there, and then we'll go ahead and fast forward it as it makes its way down. He'll anchor on. And that's one thing um, after he gets that, he should have anchored on the south. I mean, th this is what's killing him with time. He's not even starting the raid really with his, mat his kill squad until, you know, two, uh, almost a minute into the raid. So he drops the golem in there and um it starts uh, to go ahead and tank for these wizards 
drops another golem in on the side so he's creating that wide funnel get those valkyries and get that uh, king in there drops the uh earthquake go ahead and open that core completely and now it's time to send those valks in so he'll go ahead and drop his valks in there drop the valk cl clan castle and uh, they'll make their way into the core and drops his barbarian king so he could have dropped them all at the same time, but still would have shaved off a couple seconds, and all those seconds you'll see make a big difference. So he does have that uh, the heal that goes into the core. Those Valkyries will start wrecking the core along with the king and the uh, wizard as the golem is tanking. And uh, he sends his loons in a little early. Um, you can see that that uh, air defense is not done. It takes out some of the loons, takes out some of the... Um, you know the minions and and that's another place where you can kind of uh, streamline the attack a little bit uh, there was no need to send them in that early love early loons but not when the air defenses are still up so could have uh, again he had he lost a lot of loons there because of that but uh, they're still crushing the base completely so um, there's only one defense left and at this, as this defense goes down, it's time to just start doing cleanup. And he just runs out of time. It took him too long with the lure. Uh, it took him too long to, uh, or not too long, he sent the loons in too early and lost two or three of those, which all adds up to, you know, being able to clean up a little bit faster. And you'll see, look, I mean, there's only one more building that was if, if just a couple drops. One more second left would have done that. So I would consider that definitely a three-star attack. Just not three stars from the attack, unfortunately. But that was a it was a good uh, try on surgical. So, and I do appreciate him trying to do that so that we could put that in the video. That was a, a request from me. So, again, I appreciate that. That is how you will wreck a base with Govalo. I'll just tweak it a little bit. Few more ways to wreck this base we're going to jump down to number 18 because like i said they um you know they gave us a, a lot of different bases with the almost exact same base design so here's another one it's it's made a little bit differently look at the they put the king on the bottom oh but that's not a really big deal so he'll send the the hogs in here to go ahead and do the lure drop the anchor on the bottom we'll go ahead and speed this thing up and he is going to mass hog this so we're going to see how to beat this base with using mass hogs so he'll go ahead and send the king in there to tank for these wizards and start this deployment of the hogs. He'll choose to do each side. I don't think that I think this is probably the first hit on the base. So he does lose quite a bit of hogs on that giant bomb spot. But that's fine. It's not a problem at all. Start to trickle in some more. Sends pre-heals uh, to get them to that core. And as they're going to get in that core, he'll go ahead and use another one of his heal. And he still has one more left over. He's completely out of ho or completely de deployed all his ho hogs so far, but he does have that one extra heal yet. So they'll go ahead and, and hit some of these splash damage. Not too much big of, of a problem for him. And at this point, he doesn't even need to use that other heal if he doesn't want to, but uh, he does. So those couple hogs will go ahead and take care of that mortar and take care of that whiz tower. And now it's time for cleanup. That, the king is almost untouched as he's walking around the base with those wizards. And uh, he's wrecking uh, buildings, and the other hogs get a very, very nice split. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this and uh, take care of that base with a three star with using mass hogs. Way to go. Nice attack. Just two more attacks to show. Uh, we're going to go into number 20. And here we're going to go ahead and see Hunt and Peck use dragons for this uh, Tootsie Roll base. But we're going to see him use Drag Rider. So he's going to use Hog Riders and dragons. And check a, take a look at this. Check this out. Um, again, a little bit of variation with it. The core and everything else is exactly the same. But he's moved some of the, the trash buildings around and put his king in the top right-hand corner. Or just the top uh, all the way to the north, or the north section of it. So it gives you an idea if these, if you're, you're, you know, the people you're going against move their buildings around. Well, then you can just uh, go ahead and adjust accordingly. So he'll go ahead and get that lure, use the poison in order to knock that balloon and um, dragon down in health, especially the dragon. The balloon goes down completely. He's going to anchor into the right hand side, but he again, he's not going to use wizards. He is going to use dragons to go ahead and take care of this dragon. It's almost down to a quarter of health. 
feed it some barbarians, and then use the dragon to go ahead and take care of it. And uh, yeah, it's time to deploy those hog riders. So yeah, he'll go ahead and, you know, the only goal for him here is to get those hog riders down into the core, take out all those air defenses so those dragons can roam free and destroy everything else. So he still has uh, another heal and a rage. He'll go ahead and drop the rage down here and you'll see piggies raged up on cocaine. They'll go through this base super, super fast and take out all those air defenses. The last one is going down right now. And that archer tower is the last thing left in the core. And then they'll just make their way across the rest of the base and start taking out some of the last bits of defenses. Doesn't really matter at this point. Those dragons um, would take them out uh, as well. But uh, I think he has, just like with the, the other one we showed um, in our war recap, I think he has all five of his dragons completely um, alive at the end of this raid so we'll go ahead and speed this up as there is some more defenses but only a couple of them can actually touch the dragons tesla and the archer tower the other ones are completely inconsequential and uh yeah it's a couple of the dragons on life support um but uh, that's all right all five of them remain and that's all that matters so he crushes this base with drag rider so there's a good example of how you can do it with drag rider and for our last one, we're going to look at another mass hog again. We're going to drop down to number 28. And we are going to watch uh, 2D go ahead and take care of this one. And again, they switched it around a little bit. They put the, uh, the king on the left-hand side again, kind of like the one that uh, I drag looned. You'll notice that the ADs are a lot lower. You could definitely drag rider or drag loon this one easier than hogs, in my opinion, just because of the, the ADs are so, are so low. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and see how he chooses to go ahead and, and mass hog this with one loon. So he gets that uh, free um, kind of one for one trade on the mortar on the bottom there and uh, grabs the, uh, the lure of the dragon but does not get the lore, or he actually does get the lore of the balloon. I didn't see this with the, with the hog, so that's, that's good. So he'll go ahead and anchor here on the bottom and go ahead and start doing the, the, the barbarian wizard feed. So we'll go ahead and fast forward that. Uses the poison to go ahead and take them down a little bit quicker. Drops that uh, balloon quick, and then, yeah, it's the dragon goes down. So there's nothing to hit those wizards at this point, so he can go ahead and do a king swap do a two finger drop and just start making their way all the way into that core. So he'll go ahead and take care of that Tesla. Hogs will go flying, drop a heal on the core, still has two more heals left. That one will be a hero hog, but died valiant death uh, at the archer tower below. They'll start making their way through the core and uh, still has those two heals left to have his other brother hogs meet up with that uh, large group from the right hand side. Drops the heal there for the wizard tower for splash damage. Get all that group of uh, hogs healed up all the way to full. There's only about four or five more defenses left. Tesla pops up. Still one more heal. Be a good time to drop it right there. Uh, splash damage from the wiz tower. Only a couple point defenses left. And then that's all, we, uh, we, all she wrote. So um, yeah, skelly traps being a little bit of a pain. But as soon as this archer tower goes down, they can turn and go ahead and uh, completely destroy them. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, fast forward it and watch the cleanup. It's got wizards cleaning up on top, tons of them. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much all over. Wizards go flying, piggies fly, uh, bombs are... But uh, remember, no dragons were hurt in the filming of this particular war. So... Anyway, that's how you, go, you can do another mass hog, another different deployment on the same exact base. So hopefully you all uh, had a good uh, way of uh, using different methods to go ahead and crush it and go ahead and get those three stars.